Here we have a 2011 GMC Sierra 2500 HD SLT. It has a 6.6 liter turbocharged diesel Duramax engine, Allison automatic transmission, 4x4, and only has 181,000 kilometers on the odometer. For the interior, we have your memory seats and your heated seat controls on the side. Below the door handle, we have your power holding mirrors, windows, and locks. We have plenty of storage along the bottom of the door panel, speaker in the corner. We have a really nice black on black combination for the interior with this nice wood grain accenting all throughout. It is a turnkey ignition system and steering wheel as always. Starts up nice and easy. And we'll get air added to the tire. Go through here, you can see it has 181,410 kilometers on the odometer. So we'll turn that back off so the fumes don't accumulate. Down here, we do have your headlight control, your dome light control. This is your gauge cluster illumination, so it pops out. You twist it to what you want, and then push it back in. Take it back a notch. Fog light control below that. We have your two-wheel to four-wheel drive selector below that. Your trailer brake. We do have your cruise control on the steering wheel on this side. Your Bluetooth and audio on the other. Automatic gear selector, column shift as usual, through tow mode at the end, gear selector in the middle. Little buttons over here are to go through various different options in the gauge cluster, such as the odometer and what was displaying before. We do have the nice upgraded interior in here with the flow through console. Uh, for your stereo, you get AM, FM, and XM radio. It does have a six CD changer. We also have Bluetooth connectivity, USB, and auxiliary input. For your climate control, go ahead and turn the truck back on. That'll probably help us out. So we do have a dual zone climate control with the ice cold air conditioning. Down here, we have two US, or not two USB, two cigarette layer style inputs, as well as your trash control and your uh, exhaust brake there. Cup holders in the middle, little storage area. You can move these back and forth if you wish. It's a little hard to do with one hand. We do have a nice big armrest here with some flat storage in the middle. And here, you have a nice deep storage area that kind of goes underneath the center console. And then over here, we have a 12 volt input, as well as your USB input. Up top, we have your auto dimming rear view mirror. This is where your OnStar controls are as well. We also have your garage door openers, dome light controls, your sunroof control for the sunroof above the front seats. Then we also have your control for your sliding rear window back there. The Sierra is equipped with 20 inch aftermarket fuel brand wheels wrapped in hand cooked tires. It is a lifted truck. You can see that we do have the Fox shocks installed. You can kind of see it around the upper control arm there. We have really nice black colorful exterior with silver accents all throughout. We have your uh, wide fender flares front and back as well. Okay, fog lights and tow hooks up front too. Don't have your on the hood for your Allison transmission and the Duramax 6.6 HD. Uh, tinted windows all around. Have your badging for 2500 HD. Got some nice aftermarket uh, tough mud flaps there. Super solid. Then we have a nice running board that goes along the bottom that is very useful with a lifted pickup truck. Up top, you'll notice that we do have diamond plating along the sides of your truck bed. In the truck bed itself, it is completely spray and bed liner all the way around. And you'll see there are some holes drilled into the bottom as well. It does look like it did have a fifth wheel hitch installed at one point or another. Uh, with that being said, if you're wanting to put another one in, it'll be super easy to install since the holes are already in place for you in each corner. In the suspension, we do have four-wheel disc brakes all around. Uh, being an HD, you do get some absolutely massive leaf springs in the back. You also see that we do have your spare tire mounted underneath the back of the truck bed as well. And being an HD, you get your massive differential in the back. Then we have your badging for Sierra SLT and GMC on the passenger side. The trailer hitch is right in the middle per usual with the wiring just off to the side by where your license plate should be. Go ahead and throw off the tailgate here. So being a spray and bed liner, you can see there's no seam, nothing's peeling off, not going anywhere. And if you look, we do have the badging of the people that put in the bed liner. Uh, it's a 780 number, meaning it's a local company. For the interior, we have your power window switch right below the door handle with a nice wood trim piece surrounding it. Speaker at the bottom per usual. You do get a lot of legroom and tons of headroom in the back of the Sierra. We have the same nice leather seats in the back that we do in the front. 
On the back of the front seats, you'll find a storage pocket on each side, some storage cubbies in the middle, and a 12 volt input there as well. You are able to fold down the middle here, giving you a nice sturdy armrest with two cup holders. And you are able to fold up the rear seats for additional storage if you need. Let's so pull it up. Giving you a quick and easy way to increase the storage capacity in the back of the truck. And also with the vehicle, it looks like it has already been wired for uh, subwoofers. They are completely taped off, so you, if you plan on not using that, you don't have to use it. And if you want to, it's there and super easy to hook up. Don't have to tear apart the interior running some wires. And then when you're done, just folding the seats down. Exact same process, just push. All good to go. And that was the lifted 2011 GMC Sierra 2500 HD SLT with the Duramax and the Allison transmission. If you're interested in this lifted, well off pickup truck, you can go to parkmazda.ca to fill out the form of book for test drive. When you come down, we get your $25 Visa gift card or 50 air miles reward miles. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you soon.